morning. We all set to go? All right, we're all set to go with the meeting. Um, do we have a motion to approve the uh, minutes from the last meeting? John, second by Evelyn. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's approved. Um, Lauren, you want to jump right into the uh, yes. agenda? Um, number one is request a resolution to appoint and reappoint members of the Warren County Youth Board for the period January 1st, 2015 through December 31st, 2016. Please see attachments 1A and 1B. The rationale is the committee <coughs> must be appointed annually by resolution as per the New York State Office of Children and Family Services. The list of committee members will be available at the meeting and will be on file with the minutes of the meeting. So on A, I don't know if you want me to read everybody's name or... Does everybody see the list of names on uh, 1B? Oh, oh, that, Mr. Chairman. oh, very good. Yeah, I'll second that. You're supposed to raise your hand first. Okay, so Matt, you've uh, raised the motion. John is second. Any discussion? All right, all in favor? Aye. Okay, it's approved. Okay, number Moving two. Moving on to two. Uh, to submit the resource allocation plan for 2014 containing the youth services program and project applications for the 2014 program year as required by the Office of Children and Family Services. Um, the signing of this plan by Warren County will qualify the county for state reimbursement for the program year in accordance with the OCFS allocation of funds. And um, in the, I think it was in September, October, they um, gave us a little bit more and uh, the youth board decided to spread it out between all the recreation bond programs. So everybody just got a little bit more, somewhere from, um, I believe it was about $200 to um, 600 for the bigger um, people based on how many children are in the town. That. Okay, Ron moves it. Ellen seconds. Any discussion? Any questions on the program for Marin? All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. It's approved. Number three. Okay, number three, three is a request for transfer of funds forms. Um, Julie is here and she will um, explain the need to transfer funds. Um, it's at the end of the year, we always move funds around to make sure we have enough money in each code, and that's why I did the salary lines. We may come in a little under in our part-time code, which is the 130. That's due to our heat people. And then our salary line was a little low, um, so I'm just ensuring that there is enough money there to get us through the end of the year. Um, I'm also moving $25,000 from our contract line to our equipment line, and that is to buy new computers. Um, IT actually, since I've done this, has gone through, and I believe that it's going to be about 20 new la laptops for all of our case workers that take them out into the fields with them, and then the rest of <coughs> the desktop computers to try to replace some of the older ones. Um, the quotes came in w at just a hair under 25000 I talked to Mike about that because generally we are in the county-wide for new getting new computers. However, Mike Colvin would like to use the money set aside or social services for other equipment that IT needs that's outdated. And because we're going to be coming in under budget, had asked if we could buy our own for this year. Okay, Matt moves it. Is there a second? John, second? Any questions or comments from anyone? That uh, the caseworkers will use the laptops out in the field. Mm -hmm. And do they have a way of transferring that information back to a base computer? Yes, or there is one on-call computer yeah. for the on-call person at night, and they're all linked. Okay. 
it, CPS has their own, basically. And they, so they don't so have to So it, it, it moves them. automatically. They don't have to manually transfer it. No, it moves it's automatically. Great. It's hooked up to it's the secure state system. Oh, good, good. So yeah. yeah, okay. Good, good question, John. Uh, any other questions or comments? All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. It's approved. Okay, do you want to move on to uh, the pending item? Pending item. The pending item pertains to the current agreement with the Council for Prevention of Alcohol and Substance Abuse and has been resolved and been, can be removed from the list. Um, they had asked us for some money because they didn't get some money they were anticipating, but when we brought that up, the towns that were going to give the money um, just knew that it was time to do that, so it resolved itself. Okay. All right, any questions about that or comments? All right, let's move on. Okay, next is the monthly revenue and expenditure report. Um, I did add the 2013 year to date actual, the, I believe you had asked for, so that you could see exactly from last year to this date to this year. Um, our expenses and our revenue. Looking at the expense report, as I said with the transfers, it looks like we're going to come in a little under budget, which means the revenue will as well. Right now, it looks like the <coughs> revenue is down in <coughs> reconcile with the treasurer's office and according to what we have claimed in September and October that, that has not been posted by the treasurer's office yet is $1.7 million. Um, the treasurer's office now is fully staffed after the turnover and maternity leave so I'm hoping they'll catch that up. Yeah, we put our revenue at about Everybody follow that? Any questions for Julie? So would anybody like a little more time to look at the uh, budget? Okay, I think we can move on. Thank you, Julie. And then the, the last thing is the overtime report, which is holding steady, which is nice. Um, I think we're going to be well under last year's overtime hours. Uh, most of it CPS, which we have no control, a little, little bit of training. Health setting staff up and trained. I, yep. I think that's why we're seeing a lot less overtime is because of the training. Is that a result of the Medicaid situation? We were uh, having uh, to scramble well, last year, or is that still going on? Really more all the caseworkers mm -hmm. um, are up and trained. They've all been through core, except for one. We have mm -hmm. one new one now. But we had a lot of caseworkers going through core, and that just was intense training for many, many weeks. Gotcha. So we're caught up on that. We are. We are. Good news. Maureen, were you going to say something? Um, we did have, in the way in the beginning of the year, I think with our, our, a lot of our Medicaid staff was new, so people were trying to catch up. Uh, some of the people that were here <coughs> earlier were trying to help with that, mm -hmm. so they did use some overtime. But all the uh, staff in Medicaid have been there for almost a year, so people have gotten caught up with what they need to do. So. That's great. Good news. All right, good report. Any other uh, comments from the committee? All right, is there a motion to uh, adjourn the meeting? John, Matt, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved. Thank you. Nice job. Thank you. Best meeting. <laughs>